What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 36th jailbreak update video and today we're going to be talking about the killing of ios 10.3.1 and what it means for the jailbreak ios 11 and more and this is going to be one of the shorter episodes in this series because there really hasn't been much that went on in the past week but i really wanted to get this information about 10.3.1 out to you guys and of course before we get started if you have not watched the previous two episodes you need to go back and watch those where i talk about the ios 10.3.2 and the ios 11 jailbreak that were demoed at mosec last week so make sure you check the cards in the description right now to go back and watch those before you watch this video. All right, so first off, yes, Apple finally killed iOS 10.3.1 yesterday evening after 43 days of it being signed after 10.3.2 drop. Now, 43 days is so much longer than anyone expected with 10.3.1 because if you look at my research here in the chart I put together, the typical signing window time in between iOS versions is around seven to 14 days. And actually, as you can see, the last time we had a signing window open for more than 40 days was iOS 10.3.1. 10.1, but that's actually the only other time since iOS 9.0 back in 2015 that that's happened. Now, if you want to see the full chart and more of an explanation about these signing windows and how I get these numbers and things like that, you can check the link down in the description below. It's easily laid out for you to see. So now that iOS 10.3.1 is no longer being signed by Apple, what exactly does that mean? I know I have a lot of new viewers, you know, a lot of new people into the iOS jailbreaking scene, and they may not understand or know much about the iOS signing window. So basically when the signing window closes, that means two things. Number one, you can no longer update or downgrade to that version which is 10.3.1 in this case you can no longer update or downgrade to 10.3.1 in iTunes and you also can't save your iOS 10.3.1 SHSH2 blobs because of course the version has to be signed for you to be able to save valid blobs so I'm assuming most of you guys are on 10.3.1 or saved your blobs for 10.3.1 because I've been preaching it to you guys for the past couple months you know I was urging you to get on there as soon as possible or at least save blobs for there as soon as possible if you're jailbroken right now so I really hope you guys did do that now I get this this question all the time so I wanted to answer it I answer it all the time on Twitter and live streams even in some videos but I want to make it clear once again you can downgrade using your SHSH2 blobs if you are jailbroken. However, I would advise you not to do so yet. Future Restore, AKA Prometheus, is still not as stable as it should be. And of course, I'm gonna be making a video when I feel like it is to show you how to use your blobs to downgrade or update to an unsigned firmware. But again, you do need to be jailbroken for it to work. So now, what does iOS 10.3.1 no longer being signed mean for the jailbreak? And the answer is not really too much. So just because a version of iOS is no longer being signed does not mean that a jailbreak is imminent. It does not mean that a jailbreak is coming. In fact, Pingu actually wants the signing window to be open because they want as many people as possible to get on the jailbreak, which obviously is not ideal if the signing window is closed. But of course, if you guys have been following the past few episodes on the channel here, you would know that the Pingu team is not the only team that we're relying on to get a jailbreak. So what that means is that the signing window is less of an indicator, you know, to predict a future jailbreak than it has been in the past. And the other people I'm talking about aside from the Pingu team regarding the 10.3.x jailbreak are Adam from the Zimperium team who is going to be releasing a public exploit for 10.3.1 sometime in the next couple months. And then we also have the Keen Lab who showed their 10.3.2 jailbreak at MoSec 2017. Now, when Adam releases his 10.3.1 bug, that very well could turn into a jailbreak. And then the Keen Lab, we really just don't know what they're gonna do yet. So yes, the signing window does matter, of course, for being able to update and downgrade to a version like 10.3.1, which has been proven to be jailbreakable and also for saving blobs for it. However, it's not the best indicator as to when a jailbreak is coming. You can't really predict when a jailbreak's coming just based on when the signing window closes. I'd say that Apple patching the bugs from a jailbreak or a potential jailbreak or exploit matter a lot more and is more of an indicator than the signing window. So let's just say that Apple patches certain exploits that were used to create the 10.3.1 jailbreak in a version like 10.3.3 then whoever's going to release the jailbreak would likely do it once they found out that Apple patched their bugs in a later version of iOS like 10.3.3. And assuming that most of the bugs and exploits in 10.3.x are going to be patched or just not function properly in iOS 11, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens when the final version of 10.3.3 drops. Because then all of a sudden you have a lot of bugs and exploits that are no longer relevant at all because they're not going to work, you know, in iOS 11 and later versions. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting to follow what happens after the final release of 10.3.3. 
10.3, which should be very soon. And speaking of iOS 10.3.3, Apple released the fifth beta earlier today. And of course, all it does is fix some security bugs on the back end that we cannot see. So I would expect the final version of 10.3.3 to be dropping either next week or the following week. But of course, when that does get released, I would not update to it. I would stay on 10.3.1 or 10.3.2 at the very highest if you're not on 10.3.1. Now, some people have been asking why are they releasing so many betas for 10.3.3? And the big reason is because 10.3.3 could very well be the last iOS release for 32-bit devices like the iPhone 5 and 5C. And Apple wants to make sure there are no vulnerabilities in iOS 10.3.3 that would lead to a permanent jailbreak for the iPhone 5 and 5C. As for iOS 11 beta 3 and public beta 2, we could probably expect those either next week or the following week as well. We really just don't know. It's really too hard to predict these days what Apple is going to do. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for this video. Like I mentioned, it is a shorter episode and really not too much to talk about since I did make a jailbreak update video last week with a ton of information. Nothing has really come out since then. So this is the best I could do because like I said, I really wanted to let you guys know that 10.3.1 is no longer being signed. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe because I do these jailbreak update videos all the time. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.